Maybe if I unmute my mic here, I can tell you what I want to say. So for the VOD, I apologize. There's or For anybody watching the VOD, mainly, I apologize. They're, I'm going to have friends with me while doing this today. So if they're too loud or I'm too quiet, I apologize. Anybody who's watching it live, you're going to have to tell me if, if, if my friends are too loud or if I'm too quiet because I'm not going to know. And I'll ask a couple times throughout this. Alright, cool. And I'm like, shut up! Oh, oh a, cup no, of, uh, a cup of carrots would be delicious. But, but the thing is, although it's still a part of California that's busy, there's not skyscrapers, and pe if people are going to honk their horns, that's a little further away than where it would happen over here. We're a little more suburban, I guess. So, I don't know if bringing a horse to downtown Los Angeles let alone the convention center, is a wise idea, but I guess it worked out. I don't know. I don't know why they would bring a tandem horsey to a uh, convention center, but uh, they they did. Well, oh, yeah. I guess it was a it was a marketing <laughs> ploy because you remember it. Yeah, I, I didn't take their energy to go because I was like, I don't drink, I don't, I don't drink this stuff. I'm just here for the. Ooh, and yet, <laughs> the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit sets are back in stock. Mario Kart. Wait, but what about Monster Hunter? I see where your loyalties lie, Plat. No, I'm just, I'm seeing <laughs> the one thing that they what had out of stock for the longest time. What and we that's back in stock. What's up? Let's make you a deal. All right, Let's so in order to help you catch a hundred fish in a day in Animal Crossing, Charles will let you go to his island and make you <laughs> And in exchange, you have to buy Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That's the deal oh. he made with me. I will say that's and, your deal. <laughs> yeah. So therefore, if we want Platinum Rhythm to get Monster Hunter Rise, we have to do the same deal because it works on Wait, you. Back up. Dude, Platt's not, right. re <laughs> Platt's not getting introduced to this series. You're the only one here that hasn't gotten introduced to this series as of yet. <laughs> yeah. The other so thing I'm gonna, I'm getting Rise anyway. Yeah, it, it's me, Chris, and Platt who are the veterans of the group. <laughs> I like, all I've got on you is a year, so I'm still a babo in comparison. It's true. So, I'm getting the game anyway. I'm just looking to see what else was potentially out of stock. But hey, Wait, forget. So if Scooter's a one-year veteran and that only makes him a baby, what does that make me? Like a zygote? You're an like a <laughs> Effect, oh, okay. Actually, yes. Got effectively, it. you're a zygote right now because you're, you're about to be birthed into the series. <laughs> Great. I am born. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> Father, I am born into the series of Monster Hunter Rise. Give me my hammer. Good. <laughs> yeah, uh, to answer your question or your your statement, Hohan, oh, I thought you were gonna thought you were gonna go into like a a shelter and not go online when Monster Hunter Rise comes out, so you don't get spoiled. Into a bunker. <laughs> just sit in yeah, yeah. Yeah, literally just go into your bunker and play <laughs> village. Play the village quest. I think you'll be fine. You won't see spoilers that way. Uh, excuse me. I do I do wanna get the I do wanna get this Mario Kart set though. I just wish my house was big enough. Mm. I also I also wish my I also wish my house floors weren't all carpet. Except, except I'm I mean, not playing. It, work, it works on carpet, it just depends on how thick it is, even then. Yeah. Yeah, the traction is just a little bit slower. Yeah, it's like if I'm gonna use this optimally, it's gotta be like on hardwood floors, right? Yeah. No, I think I think it'll be fine because um, most go karts, not sorry, not go kart, RC cars, uh, RC yeah. cars uh, nowadays are powered to go on like thin carpets too. So. Yeah, uh, uh, that's fair. It, it also doesn't help that I got all this junk in my room, like including my green screen. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I and I heard and I heard that these carts or these RC carts don't go like up slopes and stuff pretty pretty well. So okay, so it needs to be a flat surface as well. If, if you're yeah, gonna use them. yeah, like, that, that, that's what I've been seeing in terms of like this uh, demonstrations of people using these things. Like oh yeah, you can't put um 
you can't put like ramps and stuff because the things don't really go up ramps very well. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you could you could do like small in slow inclinations. Yeah, but that, that, that that's still kind of cutting it based on what I've seen. Um, I've seen it on what is it, Linus Tech Tip guys or whatever. They made like the super mega course where they raced for Mario Kart stuff, and they had like ramps and loops and every everything, and they were playing with four. The only thing that happened was uh, it got buggy because they were racing four at the same time. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. But for the most part, it worked fine. Oh, you can't play with four of them, but geez, there's like it's, it, it's got to be it's got to be like two Mario's, two Luigi's. That's kind of funny. I guess I couldn't do production for like the Koopaling since those are the only other racers you see in this thing. Look at all these costumes and stuff. It's like this is what Mario Kart Nine needs. They need to. They, Mario Kart Nine really does need to take the Mario Kart Tour approach. Yes, please. It. I'd rather just Mario Kart Nine exist. Can we stop with these hollow show <laughs> games, please? Yes. <laughs> like, I, I completely agree with you, Skater. Like, Wait, I can you stop with the one now? The hollow shell of a game, gotcha game stuff. Oh, okay, but the gotcha elements that they have in Tour are actually pretty cool. Like, I don't no. know. Hmm? Uh, what Skater's getting at is that he just wants a full fledged Mario Kart game, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, but yeah. He, do he, he doesn't mind the, oh, you need to get coins to like purchase a costume in the game. That would be cool. Yeah, um, like do yeah, to purchase, purchase coins, purchase car parts, purchase like costumes. Wait, did I say costumes already? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not against More that. Costume. I'm not against that. Like, I haven't touched, <clears throat> I haven't touched tour on the phone. All I know from people saying is that they promised on online multiplayer. That I don't think that still has been delivered. No, it has. And I think it's been added. It yeah, yeah it, it, has, it, 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 it definitely AI. has. No, it's not. It's not AI. It's actual people. Okay. I know that I, I know this because I played multiplayer. Okay, well then I will shut up because I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just yeah, I do want to. I want to full fledged Mario Kart again, please. The, the, the problem is, I, I think the problem is Mario Kart Eight is still selling so well that they don't have a reason to do a new Mario Kart game right now. It's like people are still gonna buy Mario Kart Eight to this day. Right. But, I'd like to, but, but I'd like to think it's because people are only buying Mario Kart 8 to this day because, yeah, it's a good game, but it's also the only one we've got right now. Guys, I'm calling it. So we're getting Mario Golf this year. Next year, yeah. we're going to get Mario... Or, well, two years ago, we got Mario Tennis. This year, we're getting Mario Golf. Two years from now, we're going to get a new Mario Kart. Please, no. I'm not. We're going to get, get Sluggers or, or another baseball one or a soccer one. So why is everyone sleeping? With that, though, Charles? Why is uh, everyone sleeping on basketball? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. You, you want to know? I have the answer. I have oh, the I answer. <laughs> Here's the answer. It's because it's square. Camelot. Yeah, it's because Camelot exclusively makes the tennis and golf games. Baseball. I'm pretty sure is Namco. Where is basketball? Yeah, square and square. next level games is Strikers. And next yeah, level games could be working football. on Mario or, Strikers right now, but. I don't know. The last thing they made was Luigi's Mansion 3, so whatever their next project is, it has to be Mario Strikers if that's going to come out in like a year or two. <laughs> okay, don't take this the wrong uh, Square, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you'd be better <laughs> off dropping Balan Wonderworld and working on the next Mario <laughs> Sports game. Crazy. Well, the thing is, I don't know how well Mario Sports Mix did. Um, I think it did pretty well. I love it. it. Didn't reach the numbers Nintendo wanted. And Nintendo tried something similar with Mario's Sports Superstars on the 3DS, which I think was Camelot once again, even though it includes baseball in it. And I don't think that sold super well either, which is even more critical for a Mario game. So they might not do basketball or a sports collaboration ever again. No, don't say that. Yeah, well, I want them to as well. Like, I like the sports games. I never played, uh, I never got into sports mix. All I had was Hoops 3-on-3 uh, hoops three three for the DS, so... I like sports mix. I didn't know till like last year because Charles told me that you could do three-player co-op campaign. Yeah, and we were playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. 
Charles showed me that. I'm like, oh, I actually have a newfound respect for this game. I did not know you could do co-op, three-player co-op tournaments and stuff. I think, now see, what I think they, what I think Mario Sports Mix could benefit from on the Switch is like actual three-on-three -three multiplayer instead of just only having access to playing with up to four people on the Wii U back then. And I get right. it. Back then, this I couldn't hand, really handle it, but I think with what Nintendo has been doing in terms of online infrastructure, and I'm gonna always use Mario 3D World as an example because it's the best example right now. I think they could definitely do something with like porting Sports Mix to the Switch and actually allowing for more uh, multiplayer action. I think they so, could all take that infrastructure hello? and actually give us a proper Mario Party game. Well, hello. Hello. What's up? Hello, Hello, Nico. Where I'm streaming. I know. I'm lurking for a little bit. Okay. Oh, right. well, uh -huh. How's this for a pitch? All right. Ply, get ready for this. Hi, Nico. Oh. Get ready for this, Nico. Okay, let, let, okay. Me actually, let, me, let me actually rephrase what I was saying real quick because I didn't mean it like that. Super Mario Party is an amazing game. I really think it would have benefited from being expanded upon. Like, if they okay. actually gave us, like, more boards and an actual proper multiplayer. But go on. So you want a Mario sports game that really takes advantage of the online infrastructure that the Nintendo Switch can provide, correct? That's yes. what you're trying to say? Yes. And I, I agree, and the Switch seems to be more heavily focused on multiplayer games, especially since local multiplayer can now be done wirelessly. So Nintendo is more encouraged to do online multiplayer games where people have to use their own screens, because that's just a matter of taking the wireless play and adding the online functionality to it. Here's my pitch for you, all right? Let's go back to Mario Strikers for a second. Do you know how many players are on a soccer team, Platt? Oh, God. The answer is 11, Platt, which okay. means in theory, <laughs> we could have 11 versus 11 Mario Strikers <laughs> online. Okay. You make your team, and if you can't fill your team, the, the extra characters get filled by CPUs, and you just play 22-player <laughs> online multiplayer. Oh, my See, God. I think... I think that would work best for a game like F Zero. All things considered, I mean, I've I've had that conversation too. I think they could do thirty player online F Zero. If they can handle thirty five Mario, they can do thirty player F Zero. Yeah, they can definitely handle thirty five Mario. Uh, thirty five Mario. They can handle a hundred people in Tetris. I'm sorry, ninety nine. Tetris is a little easier, but I do agree. <laughs> okay, so here's my question: I have to ask: Is it twenty two including the goalie or excluding the goalie? Pretty sure it includes the goalie. Each person has 11 players on the field at a time. I'm pretty okay. sure it's 10 people on the field. The 11th player is the goalie. Um, imagine having to be stuck as the goalie. As the goalie? <laughs> That's so I mean, it probably It probably sucks. But, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's that's why it wouldn't work because no one's gonna be like it's people would disconnect goalie. if they ended yeah. as goalie. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would be ten on like, ten. Ten on ten, and the goalie is like uh, changes to whoever's closest. All right, fine. Let me give you an even worse pitch, all right? And <laughs> speaking of pitch, how about Mario Baseball? Or it's all right. players on a baseball? I think it's nine players on a team. Am I right No, about that? no that's awful. And then the other eight people are just... you, Yeah, you form your team and you only control the one character you have. Yeah, and most, that's, most of you get play, to sit on play the bench all baseball. game. That's actually even more boring. Oh, oh it, it's like uh, equivalent to the real length of baseball as well. Well, oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> I guess and sometimes we don't even get to play because he'll get the three outs before. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so, yeah. the, so the difference between a concept like that and versus a game that's already been out, like Mario Hoops Three on Three and Sports Mix, is that the team distribution is not that huge. <laughs> like they specifically made it three on three for Mario Hoops Three on Three, which means in an online environment, six people would be perfectly fine. <laughs> like in, so in, just, a, in a, in a sports mix setting, idea. yeah, I know. Like I'm just in, in, in the sports mix setting, it's still up to six people, and some sports can require only four, so that would work even better. Uh, this is just <laughs> a very trolley concept that you should have thought up of. Imagine Mario Baseball online, and then you know your team is outfield, and the position you get is the guy who catches the ball behind the base, and that's just what you do all game. And you just sit there and watch everyone else catch the ball. <laughs> there should be an immersive version of Mario Golf where you have to watch them actually travel between, like, course to course. Yeah, but not without the speed golf feature. Like, yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like you have to watch them the go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walk over to the ball. 
This oh, sounds like a controller. Don't, don't, don't worry, we'll be doing that in Super Rush when it comes out. Walking over oh, to the ball. We're talking about without, without the speed feature. And oh, you actually have to like, locate your ball. Like, oh, I hit it here. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Mario Go Golf Mobile, and it takes time to travel unless you pay real money to skip. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. We're not going to speak this blasphemy. Oh, I will Nintendo, destroy hire you. me. Mario Kart, but you run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's you have to, no, you have to pay a, an hourly rental fee for the carts. No, 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 no. It, it, it would play like Gran Turismo or whatever. No, no, no. It would play like Daytona USA, where you actually have to like go up to the whatever it's called and they just like tune your car up, refill your car. Oh, uh, the pit stop. Like, yeah, yeah Mario, Kart, yeah. When you, Mario Kart, but you actually take gradual damage, and when your cart slams against the walls or shells or bananas or something, your cart wears down. Actually, at that yeah. point, that's just F Zero, so never mind. I'd be okay <laughs> with that, honestly. <laughs> That's what F Zero is, though, and in F Zero, when you die, the, the race is over. Like, <laughs> you gotta do the Grand Prix over. I want Mario Kart Nine to have pit stops. Yes, Emma. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's that's. I'm I'm actually just describing F Zero though, because you do have a health bar. Yeah, I know. Okay. You have to uh, worry about the right, like set of tires on the course. Meanwhile, uh, Fast RMX is right there. Fast Oops. RMX? You mean, you mean Goat RMX? You uh, the racing game? It's so good, though! It is. It is, it is a super It even has game. the F-Zero announcer. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So I don't uh, get why... I'm here thinking, this is the closest thing you guys are going to get to F-Zero. <laughs> People are sleeping on it. I don't get why Nintendo doesn't give them a chance like they gave Next Level Games a chance. I don't know. Yo, yeah, Schiller. Uh, yes, about that... You know when we were in our other, like, old, old friend group? Oh, when we used that completely different voice chat server? Team, sure. team speak or something? Sure, our old friend group with uh, the yeah, I got other you. people. Um, I, I know who you're referring to. Yes, I got yeah. it. Yeah, so from what I heard, that they had, they were actually offered um, to, to do an F-Zero. Uh, oh. Kind of the game, and they showed off. Well, what was the original? Fast Neo or Fast Racing Neo? Or something I, like I that? think it's just yeah, called, yeah. yeah, just Fast Racing Neo. Yeah, so that was the original one. Yeah, and they showed it off to Nintendo, uh, but there were like some disagreements and stuff like that, and it just it never went through. That or something makes a lot more sense then, because I know Nintendo would be a little strict toward their own personal IPs, and they license them out very sparingly. But I'm a little surprised that they would, like, not let this company who has proven themselves to be capable to at least have a chance. But I guess if you're saying they did have a chance they disagreed, then that makes more sense. Yeah, that's that's what I heard from old times. That's what I'm like, I can't confirm it or deny it, but that's from what I heard. The next level games really did just get lucky. In yeah. fact... They're actually super lucky in hindsight, too, because Super Mario Strikers is such a different style of Mario that Nintendo would not be okay with now. But they, they got to make it twice, and they got to do Punch-Out, and they really took a lot of creative liberties with Punch-Out and just made it such an, a much more awesome game. So, it's, it's, and now, they have, now Nintendo just owns next level games. They have consumed them, which under say... normal circumstances might be bad, but I think this is only a good thing. Yeah, this is only a plus, really. Mario Kart, but if you lose your cart, you can steal someone else's GTA stuff. That's what I want the new F Zero oh, game oh to God. be. I I had this thing where I want F Zero to be like GTA, dude. Just to hijack <laughs> other. It'll be like Road Rage. That's called yeah, like Air Ride. <laughs> sure. And where it's like Air Ride, open... if you do City Trial, you blow up the other person's car, and then you can like steal theirs and whatever. It, it's an open open world. Uh, F Zero game, and you know he's a bounty hunter. So what? You're typically just doing oh, bounty hunter oh, stuff. Oh, I like that. But then you can also they have like a huge aspect on the racing thing, which is what F Zero is known about. Ah, uh, they need to do that, Nintendo. Come on. Come on, Nintendo. Let let let, let the the, the fans Nintendo, say. please. I need to hear Mute City again. <laughs> let the I three F Zero fans have their one. <laughs> I had a pitch for F-Zero, and you guys don't have to like this pitch, but my pitch was that it was exclusively a racer, kind of like it has been, but maybe no story mode, 
But in exchange, um, in the multiplayer, there's a bigger emphasis on really not just beating your opponent, but taking them out. And F-Zero GX it introduced this thing where if you press the Z button on your GameCube controller, your car spins around in place and you can use that to not fall all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought of an idea where if you're really close to somebody and you, you guys are just like clanking cars, your, your drivers like stand on top of their cars and you have to like mash buttons to try Yo! and push the other person off the car. But I don't know if Nintendo would approve of that because that could actually get too violent. <laughs> this also sounds like road rage, and I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> but, but I imagine something in the same vein that uh, I think Soul Calibur does it, where when two people hit the same button at the same time, there's like a very quick like mash, 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 mash thing. And if you're the faster masher, you just like destroy the other person. Um, Soul That's Calibur Six does something similar to that. It's more of a rock paper scissors mechanic though, where it's like uh, if you press the same button, you just clash, oh. and then you just kind of clash again until you like. So kind of like how Budokai does it, I guess. I just kind of, Budokai, yeah. Uh, that's that's what I thought about, but uh, that that's like just one thing for making it more about destroying the opponents, and I don't know if Nintendo would want to do it. But yeah. it, it, it would also give more emphasis on the people in the vehicles, because we all know Captain Falcon, but like not many people know about... Samurai you know, Goro. Samurai, well, okay, I guess he's second. Blood Falcon. Yeah, Blood Falcon, Pico, Dan, I don't know, there's Dan... Dan Rune, Patrick. That's the, the different racer that actually <laughs> <laughs> James, James McCloud and F-Zero. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to say, hold on. We're not going to speed past that like Charles didn't just say what he just said. <laughs> so that, I, I got a question right on that trivia show I watch all the time. It was, who was the first female NASCAR driver? I don't remember what the rest of the question was, but I was like, Danica Patrick. I got it right. And I'm like, it's the only female NASCAR driver I know because of Sonic. <laughs> Uh, who, says video, who says video games don't teach me anything? They taught me everything, man. Yeah, I know, it's all thing! Like, <laughs> did you know that one of the Jeopardy champions, James, whatever his last name is, the guy that oh, won God. 30 games in a row, Sorry. studied by reading children's books and watching kids' shows? Uh -huh. <laughs> so don't, don't doubt that method. It works. Even Universe taught me the names of all sorts of gemstones. That's true. Those are a lot of frames. It is, and I am com immediately regretting. I regretted everything. Senior, about it. How much animation I have to do? It's gonna you look so out. good, Charles. Hope so. Was that Chris? You know what other show also teaches you about rocks? Sailor Moon. Oh, uh, it just teaches me about planets. No, it's rocks. Rocks. <laughs> Pluto's not a planet anymore, guys. Yeah, but Sailor Moon's inaccurate. The bad guys are named after minerals. Oh, yeah. I never caught that. Then again, I was, it was at oh. that time in my life, I wasn't essentially watching Sailor Moon to learn things. I was watching it because, oh, interesting different cartoon show. Steven Universe is also a good source for that. Oh, that's how this conversation started, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon taught me about... Trees with all those professor the names. Professor names? <laughs> Who's this professor? Oh, whatever that name is, it must be some type of tree. I didn't know what a birch tree ro was or a rowan tree. Or a juniper tree. Yeah, I don't think I knew what a juniper tree was. I'm trying to what are the uh, I didn't know what an elm was. I didn't know what an oak was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, juniper is apparently a bush because it's a female. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that was the intent, but uh, sure. Oh, it might have been actually. They, I, I, I think they think those things too. There's Simpsons. Like... There's Kakui. I only know Kakui because of like a Kakui nut, right? Or Kakui beads. That's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. All the, all the professors are named after trees. Yeah. Even, oh, the, even the ones in the spinoffs. Except for Jennifer. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Oh, who's the professor? Yeah. Who's the professor even, in, uh, even in the show where they had to make up professors, like the, there's that one lady on the Orange Islands. Her name's Professor Ivy. Yeah. <laughs> who's, so the, who's the one from Pokemon Home? That's, uh, oh god, I don't know his name at all because he only shows up the first time you ever put up the program. Oh, Pokemon Home? No, his name is just Grand Oaks. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Oh, home, not home. Bank. I'm sorry, Bank. Pokemon Bank. That's what I'm Oh, Bank. Oh, okay, that, that, the, the lady. 
I don't know see. who the lady. I don't know her name actually. I'll get it for you. But it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tree. Let's say I feel like you would know it best, Sir Sheeler, because I feel like you've used bank the most out of all of us. I mean, I have. I don't really know. I don't really know stuff. Oh well, she might not count as a professor because her name is Brigitte. Okay, she's not a pro professor, and here's why. Uh, she is related to Lanet, who is the person who created the Pokemon box, like in Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, so she's, not, she's not a professor. She's a programmer. So she's like Bill. Yeah, that's exactly correct. That's exactly correct. So she does not count, I'm afraid. Got it. She is no professor, and that is why her name was not a treat. I forgot they tied that in to uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> um, I said earlier, but I mean, was Yoshida even wrong with that statement? Which one? The one about one? about they focus on the artwork, they focus the artwork and the music, and not much else. Was he wrong when he, so when he called Bad Line one, <laughs> one Line Sonic? No. Oh, that and then by Yuji Naka, so no. <laughs> the, the new professor in po new Pokemon Snap is Professor Mirror, and much like Arlo, I'm like, is Mirror a tree? And it, I guess it is in like Australia or something. Was the one in the who was the one in the original snap? Was it Oak still? Well, it's, it was it's Oak. still Professor yeah. Oak. Yeah. Okay. Because it actually it actually tied into the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of it's like Puzzle League where it's like an American only game, isn't it? Oh. Snap is worldwide, but it's the only t it's made by HAL Laboratory, which is what makes it weird. Oh, uh, okay. Because okay. it, the, all it was was HAL Laboratory was making a photography game, and a lot of the, a lot of the feedback they got from people that played it was we don't understand what the objective is. So Nintendo came along and was like, put Pokemon in it. And actually, we'll, we'll tie it into the show, because we're going to have a character named Todd Snap in a couple episodes, so it'll promote the game. Your objective is to take pictures. They even had a station for it at Blockbuster, back when that was a thing. I never got to use it. Hey, folks. I was like, four and a half hours ago, and I swear remembering you saying I can't keep streaming for five hours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, so like, damn, Tris has been going for like, like nearly five hours. Spe so speaking of looked. Pokemon, there's a Charmander in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that I wanted to do like a shorter stream. Uh, um, well, well I mean, I'm getting work. We'll just keep you company while I talk about Pokemon professors. That's yeah, <laughs> and then that way you can finish your animation. <laughs> I kind of want to play Bomberman. Go play Bomberman. Bomberman. I wish I had time to play games, but it's the weekday. I need to work. I'm too busy playing games to play games. That's, I mean, that's my conundrum at the moment, so. I mean, I do feel kind of bad because anytime Charles is free, I'm like, hey, Charles, you want to play a game that benefits my <laughs> Like when I played. 3D World, just the 3D other World thing. or Four Stores. I'm like, hey, you want to put more? You want my work to also be your work? Crazy. <laughs> I, I'm so not what you're saying is that Charles should start getting like cuts of that. <laughs> <laughs> I paid him for the assets. He did. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I, I mean, if, if there's a legal dispute, I mean, I can pay him for some of his work, but I thought I was... Oh, this is going to sound terrible. I was hoping no, that, that this was a collaborative effort, and therefore <laughs> this was just like a friendly thing that didn't involve payment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when things get all awkward. <laughs> just like, mm, mm, slightly mm. awkward. I'm just Sorry. Talking. It's a joke, it's a joke! It's a joke. It's a prank, it's a prank. No, it's not. It's For legal joke, purposes, this bad. is a joke. It's a prank, bro. If you guys need verification, I try to pay anyone I commission very well. It's <laughs> true. It's a joke. <laughs> now, now I gotta defend myself, because 20 years from now, when I'm famous or whatever, someone's gonna try to cancel me, and they're gonna find this stream, and they're gonna be like, You didn't pay this person! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> 
And I'll be like, first that's of all, of why were you watching the Charles C. Bernardo stream of February 23rd, 2021 in the year 2043? Second, <laughs> why is this information relevant now? Why 2043 of all years? It's 22 years from now, and I figure that's at least a safe bet for me to get famous by then. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, he's being honest. I, I uh, can't, can't deny that. Yeah. 22 years from now, when I'm like doing my own direct presentations and whatever, and people actually kind of like me, that's when I'm going to try to get. That's when people are going to try to cancel me, too. Oh, I like you. Thanks, man. Will you like me 22 years from now? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Not even gonna remember this conversation 22 from years from now. And yeah, knowing, me you're probably not gonna remember this conversation 22 minutes from now. That's yeah, true. Right. Actually, what conversation? I'm not even exactly. gonna remember this conversation 22 seconds from now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's what I got. Hey Google. No. <laughs> Set a timer for 22 seconds. Oh, let's see if we remember. Uh, well, remember well, now that there's such focus on it, we will. Okay. Oh, whoops. I'm auditioning for a game show tomorrow. Ooh! Are you are you are you currently uh, you know, with nerds? That? I I can say that I'm auditioning for it. Whether okay. or not I get the position, I don't know if I'll be allowed to talk about it. I'm kind of going in with the assumption that I won't get it. <laughs> I mean, as bad as it sounds to say, you know, set, you know, set the bar low so you're not so you're not uh, upset when it doesn't happen. Is that your alarm? Yeah, that was my alarm. Uh, what were Just, we talking about? That's 22 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> man, what happened 22 seconds ago? Uh... Um, <laughs> oh, man. I don't remember. Oh, well. Yo, Sheila, just, just remember that, um, if you go on that audition tomorrow, just remember that Barack Obama is always an answer. That's right. <laughs> I was thinking... <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm auditioning for a trivia game show. So you, it's, it's general knowledge trivia, so you just kind of have to know stuff. And the, there's always going to be stuff you don't know. It's fine, whatever. So I was taking practice quizzes online, and occasionally it would glitch out and include an answer from the previous question I just had. And Barack Obama just showed up like 10 times on the quiz, including <laughs> on a question where it was, what is the end of the famous Chili's jingle? I want my baby back. Baby. <laughs> Not the answer's not Barack Obama. Barack Obama. <laughs> and it just kept showing up, and it was it was funny. Okay, <laughs> so good. For those who are just in case you guys don't know, but it's not Barack Obama, so just you're good. No. So I'm I'm not. Exp I have to I have to basically do a 50 question quiz tomorrow, <laughs> and I have to do it in a Zoom call with a webcam on, so they can make sure I'm not cheating. And I don't know how well I'm going to perform. I don't think I have to get every single question correct, but I probably got to get at least half of them correct. So we'll see. It's anything and everything, any subject, any point in history, any... Anything goes. You should have a little stack of papers that you just keep rustling throughout the questions. <laughs> oh, who was the second president? Ah! Uh, hang on, that's the top of my head! <laughs> uh, uh, uh... Got it. Knew it. <laughs> so. you, you know, the guy on the $2 bill. <laughs> that messed me up when I was a kid. I thought Thomas Jefferson was the second president because he was on the $2 bill. But he's the <laughs> third. So why isn't he on the $3 bill? And then Lincoln's the fifth. Oh, I just never, I just never see $2 bills anymore. They're not, they're not, in, they're not really in circulation. I, I keep forgetting they're real. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you have them, they count as currency, but you, I don't think you can request them from a bank anymore. Uh, yeah, no. actually, you can. Can you? Yeah, you can. My my aunt, whenever it's Chinese New Year, she would ask for $2 bills. Um, okay. The only stupid thing is that if you ever use a $2 bill, people will be like, oh, this is fake. And I'm like, you've never seen a $2 bill in your life, I guess. <laughs> you can't use them on vending machines. They will not work. Yeah. Uh, and some places, um, I, like if you're if you're handling money, to another person it'll work, but I think some ATMs might have uh, difficulty accepting it. Mm -hmm. so it's like Creed with a thousand dollar bill. Right. <laughs> it's a taboo uh, currency. 
<laughs> uh, it, it's a similar problem if you have a dollar coin, like that Sacagawea coin. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, if you go to a place and you handle it with another person, it, it counts as currency, but you can't you can't really put it into a machine. Mm -hmm. There used to be half dollar coins. Those were those were big. Those were bigger than the dollar coins. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I actually have one of those. Fifty cent coin ones. Yeah. That's they're big. Yeah. I have a couple too, actually. Uh, I, I don't know. I like one of the. I don't. I didn't really like, keep chasing it for a passion kind of thing. But like, I have a small coin collection of like odd coins and coins from other countries. Ooh. It's as big as a pog chip. It, it's yeah, big. Because it's also <laughs> a more recent type of coin. Like, I don't think it was originally made when the other coins were created. Did you know that the five cent used to have that. a Native American and a buffalo on it? I did not know that actually. That's good information um, to know. Because um, in my store that I work, the resale store I work at, uh, somebody gave one of my coworkers a nickel that was, I think it was like 1897. Yeah, and it was a Native American and a buffalo on it. Ooh. That's a really old nickel. I oh yeah, a, a buffalo uh, had nickel. Yeah. That's hype. Like, yeah, this, 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 this nickel is really old. Nickel, right. old nickel. So it's good to know that if you ask for it, you can get it. But under normal circumstances, they're not commonly distributed anymore. Mm-hmm. Yes, that seems to be the case. But like that's that's information I gotta know for these trivia games because they'll, they'll ask you like you know who's who's on the twenty dollar bill. The answer is Andrew Jackson. But sometimes I'll get stumped and I'll I'll, I'll forget who's on which bill. Emma says, "Yeah, we uh, at my work we accept one dollar coins and I think two dollar bills. I actually have one of those buffalo nickels as well. It's buffalo nickel. Oh yeah. Buffalo. 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 <laughs> if, they, if they ask me about UK currency, I'm gonna fall apart. If they ask me like, what's the current you know, uh, Czechoslovakia, I'll be like, I, I, I don't know, Swedish note. I have no idea. <laughs> what's the exchange rate from USD to pounds? To the pound? Well, it's roughly <laughs> one. It's roughly one dollar to I think one dollar twelve one pound twelve pence. Right. The Imagine pound. getting just like the Economist <laughs> questions. What the fuck? Sorry. What Sorry. is the current price of Bitcoin? Reverse that. The pound is stronger than the dollar, so it's about one dollar twelve cents for every one pound. I think is what it is. What will the stock of, uh, like, the price of GameStop be next week? I want to put it sure for a trivia question. <laughs> what is next week's lottery numbers? But, <laughs> <laughs> Nico, uh, they're, they're, that that is valid as a trivia question. They might say in twenty twenty one which which stock. Uh, was significantly raised due to a Reddit post on New York bets or stock exchange bets or whatever, and the answer would be. Games. I mean, yeah, but that would be historically, not like. Yeah, yeah I know. I, like I can Very recent. Yeah, I can't. It has to be general knowledge, though. So they're not going to ask me like how many points did it go up. Like, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That'd be so unfair. Yeah, they do have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I have auditioned for a game show before, back in 2014, and it, it was it was similar. I did fill out, I think it was like a 40-question survey, and the, the questions range from what is the silent letter in the word pterodactyl, which is the letter P, to uh, what is the name of the famous fictional big red dog, which is Clifford, and then it'll oh, be, no, who, was the, who was the king of Poland in 1610? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know that one. Are you looking it up? <laughs> Huh. Interesting. And then I'll be like, what is the airspeed and velocity of an unladen swallow? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Careful, pull back on the multi python. <laughs> to which the answer obviously is a African or U European. Oh my god. And then there's ones like, you know, where were the 19, 1986 Olympics held? I'm like, I don't know that one either. Like that. Now I'm gonna look it up. 1986 Winter Olympics. Oh, Japan. Alright, well. Can a matchbox? No, but a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got it. <laughs> uh, 
sometimes video question video game questions show up on these shows and they they can be a little trickier uh it can range anywhere from like oh pong was originally released on a game console by what company and the answer is atari but it can also be like rock and misty are gym leaders in what popular video game franchise and to us we know that that's pokemon but the average person might not know that they might not know those characters yeah like the person who thought donkey kong was a sick the blue fast hedgehog that <laughs> ran around collecting rings. Ring, yeah, what is, what <laughs> Dunk. Like, yeah. We'll give him a hard. Uh, the recent episode I watched. Uh, yeah. The question was what? The question was what is the name of a popular video game in which people are dressed up in spacesuits and must find out which person's a faker or something like that. They phrased the question oh, better, no. and the guy answered Fortnite. And oh. obviously, like obviously, that's wrong. The answer is Among Us. But I was like, uh, if, you're, if you're a guy at home, and you're trying to get general trivia knowledge, and you're trying to throw out a popular video game name, like Fortnite's not a bad guess. Yeah, but, if you don't know about video games. Yeah, that's what that's I'm trying fair. to do. But like, you know, it's easy for us. But these guys, yeah, exactly. are Jeopardy, they're not going to know every single thing. Yeah, I, was like, like, I don't even mean that like sarcastically. Like, if you don't know about <laughs> video games, that's a fair answer to make. I was actually gonna joke and say Fortnite when he was. <laughs> well, that's what he said. Uh, he did say Fortnite. And they're like that. That's crazy. wrong. And then and then Pokemon. they still make. Yeah. Hi, Poos. Hi. Yeah. Hi. But it does make me happy when the really smart guy on the show gets the answer to a question like that correct. It's like, oh, this guy does know video games and Disney movies and all the all the geeky stuff that we like. Hi, Poos. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Let my cat come in the room. Oh. Oh. I thought you were Hi. trying to do some incantations. <laughs> no. So my cat, my, my cat oh. like hopped up and wanted attention. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't you find it interesting that animals actually adapt to whatever language you speak? I thought about yeah. that. Well, first I thought about, like, you registered me as a living creature. Like, you, you registered me as someone who uh, can do stuff for you, right? You don't think of me as just, like, some other animal you play with. You register me as, like, oh, I can take care of you type of thing. And then I thought about, oh, and you can actually, like, maybe not understand everything word for word, but you can understand tone. And Yeah, yeah like... <laughs> Like what they, I'm they, they learn the like noises of your words, even if they don't know any of your words. Mm -hmm. Right, like you know when I'm saying your name versus saying another random word, type of thing. So uh, interesting. My cat doesn't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we tried and we failed. It's okay. So so he just I... has like eighteen different names depending on what we feel like calling him. <laughs> Well, that's a lie. So, like, usually it's like puce, like you know, cat, Wait. you know, like yeah. Cat. And that's not even getting into like teaching your pet to do tricks. Oh, never even tried. My, my I don't think you can really do that with cats, though. To be honest, I, I've I've heard you can. Well, I mean, but, yeah, but like you, you have to you have to like lure them with food. Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen the things where, like make a shape with your with your hands together, and the cat's face like stick the head through your hands. <laughs> that's yeah. cute. Uh, my roommates had a dog, Wallace, and they, Wallace was taught so that if your hand was in the shape of a fist, and you like, raised it up and you said like, pound it, he would bop your fist with its nose. Aww, oh, that's cute. He just needs oh, that. Yeah, she, yeah, she knows how to do that with his paw. I'm like, fist right. bump, and I'll just bump it with his fist. Yeah, and, and you teach him to do that with food, so they always think they ha you have food in your hand, but now it's registered, so you just go like, pound it, and they'll just do it, even if there's no food in your hand. So there's that. Uh, he, yeah, I think it is actually easier to teach dogs, to be honest. Uh, I, I, oh, think, I definitely think it is, because c cats, in a way, are, are too smart to, like, <laughs> not fall for that stuff. Like, I don't want to do that. It's also that they just don't care. Not, yeah, yeah but they have a I don't give a crap attitude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty interesting though that like this cat used to be kind of quiet and he started like talking more. 
just in general. Oh. He just kind of like vocalizes a bit more now. He used to only do it when he like came in from being outside, but sometimes like he'll just run up and meow at you because he wants attention. Um, what is it? There is this video I saw earlier today. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can find it again. But a cat was meowing for attention, and the cat just the cat meowed in such a way where it sounded like it said, "Are you coming?" <laughs> oh, 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 wow! Meow, 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 meow. I, I, I'd shit myself. <laughs> I like cats that ramble. I like cats with deep voices. <laughs> I like so, cats. So you like Jack? Mow. <laughs> yes. Sounds like Gary to me. Mow. Mow. Oh, yeah, Gary's more like Mow. But when you hear a cat that's just like, oh, look at you, and you just hear Mow. <laughs> you know, whatever, it's like, whoa, okay. Let's get that home. Let's get that home. <laughs> Emma likes cats. Yes, she does. Listen. She grows pictures. Yeah. Babuna. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Cat speak, give me food. Nah, this this cat here is like loves attention. <laughs> he loves attention. Okay, uh, you because you still have full health. Oh, you're stuck at the bridge. I keep forgetting that Sonic Generations actually has a really good soundtrack. <laughs> Sonic Generations, probably the best Sonic game until Mania came out. Mm hmm. This Here's hoping Sega can actually figure, figure out a proper formula. And, uh,. Make a good Sonic game. <laughs> well, they can just hire uh, enthusiastic uh, modding teams to do it. Enthusiastic fan enthusiastic game teams. Enthusiastic fans, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what they did with Mania. Mania, and that's yeah. Mania. That's, that's what I was alluding to. <laughs> I can't believe Daft Punk split up. I know, uh, it's so sad. But how are we supposed to? how are we supposed to know what we're up all night for? How are we supposed to go around the world? Can't they just do it one more time? How are we yeah. going to get a lucky? So, and why this can't we just har run? Har <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say, why can't we just draw? <laughs> it's not, it doesn't work as a word. <laughs> we, uh, actually, Yoshi, you got to say, why can't we just Tron Legacy, the movie? <laughs> uh, Tron Legacy, the movie, the soundtrack. <laughs> there you go. Hey, after years of uh, of seeing those two robots play music, seeing them retire, I guess they were a human after all. Oh uh, my god! You sure they weren't a Technova chick? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there is that better. Is that better for all of you? I'm technologic. I feel bad because I only know like three Daft Punk songs. <laughs> Fair. I, I I love some Daft Punk. I do. I mean, I enjoy it whenever I hear it, but whenever it comes on, like the next comment out of anybody's mouth in the vicinity is, "What is this garbage? Why are we listening to it?" Really? Wow. Well, then again, I I usually hear it at work, and I work with people who are about seventy percent of them are fifty and older. Oh. Boo. Why are you here? Shouldn't you be in a retirement home? <laughs> that funk is sick. That funk is sick. Well, where I work, it's basically very friendly for it's very friendly for those who are like who are retired but still want to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Gotcha. Say no more.
Also, I know I get excited over the stupid- I'm starting to get excited over the stupid things, which means I'm getting old, because I went out to shovel the snow that fe the inch of snow that fell last night, and I got excited because it's warm enough to melt all the snow I failed to shovel up before to the point where the driveway is not completely clean. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I don't- I don't know that experience, so I don't know how to feel. Like, half of us are like, oh yeah, and the other half just, I'll get it. I'll bet. I mean, I'm sure it's like a blessing. Because I know snow's like super annoying, but <laughs> still, I can't relate. I got really excited about the fact that I could reuse some code for the game I'm working on now from Ooh. something I had before. As I commenced, I'd like take my old like music system, copy paste it in, change like, like two lines, and boom, done. Nice. So I was extremely happy about that, like the other day. How are you with the level designing? Uh oh, it's pain. It's pain, but I I, I have a level. It, it's it's oh, getting really, there. It's really yeah. Oh oh no, it, it's it's big. Oh okay. Uh, I, I can I can stream my like screen and give a quick little look or something. Meanwhile, or if I post a screenshot, what's what's his, I don't, what's I don't know if he's working on right now, but I can just imagine your Schiller. He's busting out a pad and a, a pad and pen right now. How do I'm gonna take notes on all this? Oh, well. I mean, if there's anything I can help with, I can, I can tell you. Let me win this game show first and ha get money for a budget, <laughs> and then I will I will hit you up, sir. Oh no 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 no! I wasn't talking about hiring. I, I I'm not there yet. Well, we just had a whole conversation about how I apparently don't pay people for their work. So oh, my oh, my God. God. oh, my God. <laughs> we were talking about 22 minutes ago. I remember now. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, my God. 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 You don't remember the part where uh, you entirely sustained that conversation on your own, and I said one thing. <laughs> Let's not get uh, accusatory here. For sure. No. It, uh, <laughs> it, it would be... My, I think I told you my current plan is to animate proof of concept or proofs of concept, whatever the plural of that is. So, that's the idea. And then to go about programming after that, um, what I might do is I, I've had a history of going through Twitter and like seeing prototypes of other games that other people have built, and I, I've had interest in like just saying, hey, if I whether I pay you up front or pay you a royalty, can I just like experiment with your coding? Like, can I can I look at this to get a feel for my game? Oh, yes. Yeah, then, th then we go that way. So I'd be willing to. So if that's of interest to you, Nico, whether it's not paying you up front, but maybe paying you a royalty in case I do become this big successful game developer guy, I'm okay with that too. I mean, considering this is my first like ever public game, I don't think payment needs to be involved. Oh, but Nico, haven't you ever watched Shark Tank? A royalty deal only works in your favor. Oh, no, I don't mean like that. I, I just, uh... A royalty deal means you get to sit back and do nothing, and every time I make a sale, you just get money for it. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <Sure. laughs> I do like money. I, I just don't think my, uh, my quality is up to snuff <laughs> just yet. I need, to, I need to hone my skills before I... Start taking payment for my work. I can respect that. Respect the hustle. Uh, I'll, I'll show. A, I'll post a screenshot because that's probably more convenient right now, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. So here, so here I am thinking that Mario and Rabbits had like an actual campaign co-op. Turns out I was wrong. Uh. Wait, it's a Rabbit game. How would it be? Hmm. Uh, isn't it a turn-based game? Like, a turn-based strategy game? How would it have, like, co-op? Well, there's co-op missions that you can do, and it's just, like, each player picks two characters and just kind of does missions based off the two characters that they chose. Ew. I, I posted in general, by the way. How dare. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. How dare you post? Yeah. How dare you wow. post? Wink, wink. I'll say wink, wonk. Wink, wink. wink. Oh, sorry. I, I've, I've not. Uh, I've not picked up on this yet. Wank, wonk, wink, wonk. All right. We'll, we'll work out and pose it. You got this. 
What did you just say to me? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. So, uh, big. That's huge. That actually looks pretty cool, though. Uh, yeah, for, for like scale, like you, you know that middle bit, like where where the like the red and green intersect over there, with the little like something. Mhm. Mm Here's a close up of that for scale. Let me. Okay, I'm looking at this. This is. I'm keeping this kind of private to look at here. That's huge. It's oh. too big. It's uh, kind of big. It's, it's really big. big. It's not kind of it, it's really big. It, it's uh, way too big. I spent like a good, like, I, I think almost like a week entirely on that, like, big area on the left. I, th I think that took me like a week on its own. Whoops. This was meant to be like a, a prototype that was gonna, like, get done and, like, yeah, the original plan was to get it done in, like, a week. Oops. And uh, this is uh, getting close to like a month. So, uh, and then, it, then it blew up on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it kind of did. People saw it. And now I felt like committed to like, <laughs> make a game out of it. Now I've got the itch.io page and everything. And I, uh, I, I, I kind of lit a fire under myself and said, now, like, I think I'll have it done this week, which I, I do think I'll I'll I think I'll be done this week with it. Just have something, just get it out and be like, all right, that's the game. Now now uh, now I'm gonna go prototype stuff for the next like three years. <laughs> I'm gonna go li live a life in seclusion. Don't talk to me. Yes, exactly. Well, no, I'm probably just gonna like find something new to work on like immediately after, and then if I like it enough, I'll go post that too. I don't expect the game to be good, but that's okay because it's my first one, basically. Let's say it's your first game. Your your first game's not yeah, exactly. Knock out. Yeah, exactly. I I, I, I don't fully expect it to be crap. A burden underrated. Uh, <laughs> You'll have okay. a game. Was it Sega? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and that's the thing. I'll have a game, and I'm not charging people. Like I'm not asking for money every month for a game that I have too big of an ego to get help for. Oops. Oh, <clears throat> oh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. So yeah, level's already too big. Uh, I I've been too ambitious. I need to just finish this. But, uh, it's getting there. It's like me with my animation. It's been too ambitious. Now it's biting me back in the butt. <laughs> so I intentionally kind of lit a uh, fire under myself to be like, all right, now you got a deadline. Or else it, it'll look really bad if you don't put it out on your deadline. That would be embarrassing. What do you mean? Game companies do it all the time. I mean, yeah, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pressuring myself. Okay. No, I think I basically finished most of the map today, kind of. Bit like crap, a bit rough, but you know. Playable. Wait to finish this so I can go back to like prototyping dumb mechanics and try to get like things to work because that, that's that's where I've been doing best. Because I remember uh, that this map design stuff takes me ages and it just like hurts to do it. it, it yep, it it's, it's like it's like probably like the code doing backgrounds for a lot of people, right? This is definitely the background equivalent. Uh, but as soon as oh. I get into the like tiny like 
I want to make this tiny little code thing work. I spent three hours before I knew it. Um, it still didn't work, but I'd spent three hours before I was, like, thinking about it. Nico, you're, you're talking about the same guy who spent, like, hours trying to <laughs> just redo the emotes on my Twitch. And <laughs> trying to make, like, a, a little talking avatar in the corner. Nice. I was like, I like this stuff, and I was like, all right, time to get back to the actual animation. Like, oh frick. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. Doing, doing the like, for 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 me, it's been like, oh, I I like doing these mechanics. Now I have to make the damn game. Damn, much, no. How much did you say a whole set was going to be worth, or was that something we should discuss off stream? Uh, probably off stream. <laughs> okay. That's no problem. Sonic, dude. I need to. I need to still figure out music. Sonic, dude. To music, hold on. Just use Kevin MacLeod, dude. I, I, I do have one in there, which I like. It doesn't actually sound bad. Uh, trust me. Oh, okay. Bro, please, Kevin MacLeod. <laughs> nah, it, it sounds okay. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. no, they all they all chose easy in this co-op in this co-op session. I'm playing with a bunch of children. What game are you playing? Mario Maker 2. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 Charles, Charles, Charles. That's me. Hello. New story just breaking right now. Did you all know right. that if, if I had Spectrum internet right now, I wouldn't be able to speak to you? Why? Apparently in Los Angeles, anyone with Spectrum internet just like doesn't have internet right now. Oh. Uh, Wait, is Charter is Charter? I know Charter is part of Spectrum, but is that like a different service? Same I company. guess it must be. It's trending on Twitter right now. Because I still have internet. Well, that's good. I'm, it's trending on Twitter. Like everyone's joking about how Spectrum is just like destroyed right now. <laughs> like literally, there's that one image of of the United States that shows where power outages are. And there's just a huge red circle in <laughs> Southern California. Yeah. Is that more? Is that more inland or out? I mean here. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like, look, like, it's like when I see this, it kind of just looks like a, a, this is the face of the United States, and right here has like a really bad case of acne. It's just a big old <laughs> pimple. Big yeah. old busted out. Okay. So. Oh, cool. I mean, not not cool. I feel bad for those people. I mean, I. Yeah. Still. It's this. It's times like this where I can't believe I'm saying that I'm glad I have AT&T. It just sucks that you only have those two choices, because still, um, your internet's still not that great. Mm. Yeah. Well, we, we thank you have choices. Yeah. you have choices, because I think up over where I am in Wisconsin, we have no choice. We get just charter or nothing. Oh, okay. So when it go so when the internet goes down out here, it is donezo. Hello, Blazer. Your Schiller has the boomer version of the internet. I mean, based on what he's told us about, he's, he's basically stuck in a neighborhood with old people where they don't need that internet, where when he does need that internet. Yeah, remember yeah. when I said I lived where the horses are? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you can have a horse, but you can't have good internet. Crazy. Look, the internet's fine. Like, it gets the job done, but it's not... It's not ideal for the type of work that I do. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I can I can chat with you guys, and I can upload and download videos and all that, but it, I, I can't, like, stream reliably with it. That's it. Shield surfing. 
I haven't used that move in this game since I started the game. <laughs> Even though it has a pretty strong stored attack. Uh huh. Alright, not much shield surfing. Everybody was surfing. Surfing on a shield. I tried to make it work, it didn't. My favorite frames are when it's just the same frame and I just have to do a small alteration. <laughs> That's my favorite too! <laughs> I love that frame! <laughs> I like the frames where I just gotta cut, copy, and paste and not have to worry about it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. This is just get more work done. You mean you don't like those frames? I love those frames. <sighs> Frame rhymes with pain. Same thing goes when you, uh, when you make comics. Right? Sometimes you don't gotta draw an entirely new, out of, out of your brain sketch for panel. You just <laughs> cut, copy, paste, done. <laughs> and like, here's a frame, and it's just a person. Then they copy, paste the same frame, except they have a different dialogue and a different face. Yes. <laughs> done. Oh, they're like... Those are the ones that feel good. <laughs> this is like, yes! I did stuff done for two things. Oh. Wait, I will bear back everybody. Okay. You're dopey. Okay, what did you break? Sorry, I just not snapped too. Oh god. Oh yeah, soon I'm gonna have to do the, the real fun part of uh, playtesting. Yeah! And making sure 
like I can't get like people stuck somewhere and if I do I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix that and I hope it won't just be like a press R to restart game button uh, that'd be a bit that'd be a bit shit <laughs> the uh oh what is it not good no, they're not good. Although I do know the bad part about that is you have to either employ somebody to help you play test it, or you're literally doing nothing but playing your game for ten hours a day for about three weeks straight. Since this is such a like baby project, I don't think employ is on the card, like in the the cards here. Probably not, but you never know. I mean, okay. you can always have friends beta test it for you. Be like, hey, yo, you gotta fix this part. Oh man, I don't want to do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I have one friend that like, I, I, I showed him another thing I'd worked on, and it took him literally three seconds to break my whole like music system before. <laughs> it took him three seconds, and I was like, ah, oh, I broke music. I was like, how? Uh, I pressed How? R, I pressed I pressed R I pressed R one and R two at the same time and they just shut it all off. <laughs> I can't believe to this day of owning Mario Kart Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch family of consoles. Not once have I touched Grand Prix. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Oops. And now it's your time to shine. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna make a mistake. Oh, there it is. Are all still streaming? Like, can they hear us? No, they can't, because he's muted and deafened. Oh. Yeah. He's definitely oh, no. muted. Hi, I get it! Uh, isn't that a great joke? Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. I'm already subscribed. Oh! oh. You just have to resubscribe. Uh, Time to make another account and subscribe. Yeah, that's it. I'm already subscribed. Well, then make a new account and subscribe <laughs> again. Jeez. I can't. I don't know what you want me uh, to tell you. I can't believe a Plat is actually out here supporting homies. <laughs> when have I never? <laughs> well, I, I never. Well, I never. Okay, when have I never? <laughs> when, when have I never not supported the homies? I don't know. People have, have wild dreams of grandeur. Of people who don't support the homies. <laughs> oh no! I've just made a realization. It's late o'clock, and my cat is sleeping in my lap. Oh. Now you can't move anywhere. You gotta stay there and sleep now. Uh, but this chair's uncomfortable. My ass hurts. <laughs> I need to move. Leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna record some stuff before it gets too late. Okay. Because I gotta get up early in the morning and I gotta make sure I'm in tip top condition in order to be able to qualify for this game show. Yeah, good luck with that. Thank I'm out. You. Oh, Joel, oh, you're just in time. Back. I'm gonna head out. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I see how it is. That's yeah. how it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, I gotta go record some stuff. I'm gonna try to record some stuff, and then I gotta get up early 
Maybe I'll be back in here a little bit later. I don't know yet. But probably not, but I'm going to leave now so I can upload stuff and not lag and then record stuff. And Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for having me, everybody. Bye. Bye. Later, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. I got a muffin. See ya. Muffin? Bye. You sharing? Um, are you guys allergic to blueberries? No. Never mind. I, I don't want the muffin. Like, I make blueberry pancakes every so often. Yeah, blueberry, yeah, blueberry, yeah. Keep it. <laughs> oh, Keep I see. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anti blueberry gang, we out here hating blueberries. We hate we hate blueberries and not getting our daily dose of vitamin C. Antioxidants. Nothing. I mean, if I don't breathe, does not make me an antioxidant. <laughs> <laughs> Is blueberry your most disliked fruit? There you go. Well, is it a fruit if it's a berry? Yeah, berries are fruits. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I never knew. I thought they were their own thing. Uh. I thought that they were Earth's turds. Because I don't <laughs> like them. <laughs> Adam! <laughs> not, not quite what I meant, but hey. I, I, I like your interpretation of it better. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, no, I, 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 I just don't really like blueberries that much. Some people say that Brussels sprouts are Earth turds. Oh, I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I like Brussels sprouts. I'd have to try them again. Mm -hmm. I'd have to try them again after so long. Like, the only time I could ever really eat Brussels sprouts is, like, I have to basically coat them in salt. Like, it was a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they taste super bland. Oh. Uh, I, I like the crunch. If they're, crunchy, that's well, if they're crunchy, that's different. I got it. Emma. Emma. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, why, why are you at like four hundred percent volume? Who we'll turned her up to eleven? <laughs> she turned herself up to eleven. Emma's just that extreme, oh extreme Emma. Why is she in the megaphone? Why is she? The why do you? Why did you have her at four hundred percent volume? <laughs> four hundred doesn't even exist. I know exactly. <laughs> It's still so loud. It, it, it sounded like um, like when you're like, how am I? Oh my god. Yeah, when you said that, it, it just sounded like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Wait, what the hell are well, I'm sorry for breaking your ears. How are you? Oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm awake, I'm alive, Aww. and well. I could go. I could go for some tacos. I had tacos yesterday. Did I I'm wake you? Awesome. Oh my god! Oh my god, tacos! Oh my god! Chipotle. <laughs> I could go for some Chipotle, actually. I've never had Chipotle. Never? It's no. A, it's not authentic Mexican. Oh, oh my god. That sounds good. <laughs> it's not authentic Mexican. Mmm, sounds tasty. <laughs> I, I just read it, but it sounds good though. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's not it's good. It's just that, like it's funny <laughs> out of context. Uh, <laughs> I love my Mexican <laughs> food. Not authentic, please. <laughs> I'm not an authentic Mexican. So I eat non-authentic Mexican food. Emma, you're like the definition of Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that an insult or is that an insult or what? No, it just means I'm the white version of Mexican. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Also, some of my chat said Burger King foot lettuce. 
Burger cake? But <laughs> <Burger cake. laughs> <laughs> And number nine. Hey, Emma's got the mic for it right now. What? Yeah, your, your mic is still kind of peaking a bit. Yeah, uh -oh. your, your, your mic is perfect for it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But the Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it's peaking, though. It's like static peaking. So it's like when you go too loud. It's all like... Oh. Uh, yeah. So if I talk quieter, I'm okay. You can probably just adjust your like, microphone volume. Can yeah. I? Or unplug your mic and plug it back in. I'm using my computer mic. Oh. Oh yeah, just unplug and plug it again. Use my headphones mic. <clears throat> okay, back to drawing. This is funny. Wait, I need to raise you up again. You raise me up so I can stand on my <laughs> Now it sounds like you're talking through a glove. I don't oh, know. Should I, put the, should I put the glove away then? Sure. Okay. I guess that's not going to do anything now. Oh no, 200 CC. Uh the only CC. 200? I thought you were playing Mario Maker. I was. Then then the lag upset me. <laughs> ah, the tried and true McDonald's Wi-Fi. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, I'm really cheap. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
You know, I got, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably butcher it because my articulation is not as good as it was 10 years ago when that came out. 15 years ago, probably now. DMC C Sender <laughs> My Twitch stream just cancelled itself and now I'm at the <laughs> ultimate lawsuit. <laughs> oh, is this another 200 CC? Yes it is. That's the part. That's the part right here. I'm uh God, it's like two paragraphs, so I'm going to mess it up halfway through. Then Gandalf the Grey, and Gandalf the White, and Monty Python, and the Holy Grail's Black Knight, and Benito Mussolini, and the Blue Meanie, and Cowboy Curtis, and John Me the Genie, Robocop the Terminator, Captain Kirk, and Darth Vader, Low Pan, Superman, and every single Power Ranger, Bill S. Preston, Theodore Logan, Spock at the Rock, Doc Ock, and Hulk Hogan all came out of nowhere, lightning fast. <laughs> I'm surprised I can still too do that. <laughs> too much. <laughs> I had to look up the lyrics. I used to have that memorized, sadly enough. Sadly enough. Listen. <laughs> listen? L listen. Are, you, are you listening closely? <laughs> okay, listen closely. No, I'm pretty far away. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to listen closely anyway. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've had this stupid button for so long and I can't even I can't even flat out say I have this button anymore on Twitch and that's the main reason I got it was to use it on Twitch and I can't say it anymore cuz because Octopip got his his nut button pulled off of Twitch so I'm now using mine just for safety reasons. Crazy. But Craig Asmus are still fair game. That actually can't be done anymore. I mean well I wasn't planning on using one anyway but still yeah, no. Just because of the air around what it is, people are have have associated it, have associated it with various for various reasons and what it is. I made no sense when I said that. I know, I'm well aware. <laughs> it's just people who really like peanuts. There's also macadamia nuts and cashews. Don't rule out everybody. And almonds. And I mean, pistachios. I mean, even those kids who said, I don't like pistachio. I was like, no, why? <laughs> wait, wait, is this for real? What? What I'm saying? 34, 34 seconds ago, in case you missed it, Cuphead and Mugman costumes are coming to fall, guys. Oh, yeah, that's real. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, all that. That's real. Oh. Uh, that's cool, actually. Oh, hello. Fantasy Star Online 2 New, new Genesis. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna make the mistake of using this character here, but... Use them. I'm using them. They're actually really OP. That's why I use them, because I like them so much. I'm gonna have to keep working the ending of the game. All I'm gonna say for anybody who don't, who, all I'm gonna say for anybody without spoiling it is, I hope you like Mario Party, because you got a mash. I love Mario Party. I like mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to line up a potato joke too. <laughs> wow, not even mashed sweet potatoes. I don't get it. I like mashed sweet potatoes too. All right, never mind. You're good. I like sweet potato. Sweet potatoes have a good source of fiber. Helps you do the poops. <laughs> it gives you with the poops, yeah. <laughs> it gives yeah, you the helps poops, dip yeah. it poops. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, Oof, I know I've gone over this before. Oof, oh, man. I Oof, feel like I oh, I feel like I blow people's minds when I say this, but yeah. reminder that sweet potato fries are a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I don't like I've them. I am probably one of the least picky people you will ever see when it comes to food. I will try anything. Picky. Same. I am not that picky. 
I won't try anything, but I do dislike things. Yeah. I like Texture it. means can, a lot to me. You can, uh, you can dislike no. stuff. I don't care. I, I'm just like, as long as you're not like, I will not eat it just because I don't like how it looks. Just try it once. That's all I gotta ask. That's all I'll ask you. I know why you're a texture eater, Nico. Can you say like you you can't yeah, smell reduced taste? Oh, yeah, your taste is like no no it? smell reduced taste. So mm -hmm. so texture is a, a big thing. Unfortunately, it has to be that way. At least with you, it's justified. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I guess I got that. But who's pickier when it comes to food? Your Nico? Shiller. Your shiller. Crazy. <laughs> no oh, I, I, don't, I don't know about this. Give me the deets. Nico, uh, Nico so your shiller is kind of picky when it comes to food, too. He will order what? plain cheese pizza and, like... What? He, uh, he literally says that if I rather have to give up sleep or eating, he said I would give up eating. Uh... <laughs> I mean, he doesn't like, like just like the act of doing it like no so, like, implications so yeah if you if you had the ability to not have any repercussions of sleeping or eating like what would you give up so it's like you know how you I, need I mean, sleep in order to yeah, I'm, I'm pretty function. sure I'm pretty sure you'd want to get rid of sleep right if you could have like every hour of the day awake if you just had to eat yeah but he said he'd give up sleep <laughs> Or, or, yes, yeah, he would, he would give up eating. Yeah, sorry. He eats everything in its original bland, plant, bland, plain. Uh, yeah. So. Really. Yeah. Bland, plain Jane form. Yeah, basically does ice. Like I even asked him just out of curiosity. He like because Charles mentioned he will eat cheese pizza. He will not even do stuffed crust on a cheese pizza. He says that's too much cheese. Oh wow! And this isn't to call out Yoshila or anything. We're just letting Nico know. Yeah, because he has said this. This is not a call out post. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I have a friend who's a picky eater, but uh, like who didn't like pizza at all. So I thought that was interesting. Well, there's more than just not liking pizza. But, like that was the big one. Just does not eat pizza at all. That one's kind of blasphemous. Like, how can you not like the holy matrimony of all those things together? That's Jeez. what I'm saying. And bread. I feel like I feel like if you gave your Schiller a supreme pizza, he'd explode. Not sure what, about is what is this? What is this? Cheese pizza. Vegetables on my pizza. <laughs> I'm not sure he would explode, but. I, I don't think it would be the Supreme that would really ruin his day. I think it would be, like, the Hawaiian pizza, really. Oh, Hawaiian pizza. Oh, <laughs> Eat it here, man! All of it! The pizza, yeah. here, man! Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's too late for me to scream. <laughs> <clears throat> Farf, you didn't like pizza? Okay, I'm not sure if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I know you eat pizza now, but still. Crazy. Oh, shoot. He wasn't doing a special attack. Wow, look at all those hands. So many it's my hands. Run hands, even. I don't know what to use, because this hand that I just drew doesn't look right. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe it's How this. How am I getting Ew, this is not the music channel I thought it was. I know. But like, I'm um, looking for stock music. <laughs> yeah, like, no, everybody has, like, a food they can't eat. Like, everybody has a food they can't do. Like, I... Like, I give it an example, because somebody said they can't have pickles on sandwiches, and it's a texture thing, and that I understand. Oh, I, I like pickles. But I but also... Funny enough, I, I don't I don't like uh, regular like cucumber. I need it to be pickles. 
I'm depending upon depending upon how I feel that day, I'm the same way. But the example I kind of gave in rebuttal was, I cannot, I cannot uh, eat the brown parts of bananas. I can't eat bananas. <laughs> Allergy thing? No, I just don't. I, I hate the mushy. Fair enough. The brown thing, especially. Oh, those parts were awful. Brown, the brown is just bruised. Yeah, it's yeah, just a bruise, but, but it's always but... like gross and mushy. It's like baby food. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just... awful. I hate it. Yeah, so like I understand, like I understand where people come from when they say, "I can't eat X." I like I don't judge them. I don't give them flack. It's just like I understand it. You don't gotta say anymore. <clears throat> I mean, if you don't like pizza, I will judge you. <laughs> Crazy. No. Uh, I don't really care, but, uh, you know, fun. Blue, Blue Dragon Kaiser says they can't eat black eyed peas or Vienna sausages. Vienna sausages? What, uh, what, what are those like again? Uh, they're very mushy <laughs> sausages. It's they're hard like, to yeah, they're they're like mini hot that. dogs, but they're like in like, a can of, like, I guess, like water. And it gets really, it's really soft. Let me uh, look it up. I'm pretty sure I'll know what it is as soon as I look it up. Yeah, it's like it tiny it's sausages. It's atrocious. That's why, yeah. Okay, I associate them with the little blue cans you see. I uh, like that. Yeah. Like, usually down next to the chili and whatnot. Yep. That's the one. I've never had them, but I don't have a reason to go out of my way to get them. They're yeah. very salty. Very, very salty. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with salt, other than... Oh, I, I, I love me dying. some salt. But, uh, I, I remember one time, like, I got some spare ribs from Sweden, right? And it was, it was so salty, I, like, I thought I was going to die. It was awful. Yeah, there's... Like, I it, it's like you could practically feel your mouth just, like, dry up as you, you touched it. <laughs> it, it was okay. terrible. Okay. Like, imagine, like, dropping your salt shaker into your food and eating it. Okay. To that end, I'll say, I remember the food I had was super salty. I've had anchovies. Oh, anchovies are good, though. Like, they are hella salty. Like, it's basically throwing an entire salt cube into whatever you're eating. Kind of like you said. But... Yeah. <clears throat> like, I wouldn't go on my uh, way to No, I, I, I like anchovies. Like, I, I'll eat them, but I, I, if I had my choice of, if I'm making the food, I'm not going to put it in. Why can't I just stick Daft Punk music in my game just call it a day? Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if you can do that. No, I, I can't, but I, it's good. It is. I'm listening to Touch right now because of the epilogue. I still need to watch that epilogue. It's... It, it's just a scene from their old like art, art movie thing. Or so I've been told anyway, I would actually like, watch it myself. There it is. Get the flurry, get the break, and we point. Yeah, Oh no, this is the Hinox. Oh no, I'm I'm talking about oh, your the drawing. animation. <laughs> yeah, I've got it open on the side. I've got it open on the side so I can see what you're doing, but obviously I'm not always focused on your animation. Bacabwans. <laughs> are you gonna ha are you gonna have one yeet uh, yeet em yeet one at another for comedic effect? No. Do it for me. No. That's <laughs> from Scooter. <laughs> I would give you one penny. I would give you McDonald's. You want some nuggies? I'll get you some nuggies. <laughs> and the spicy chicken McNuggies. I'll do that. Spicy McNuggies. 
Uh, Gots, this game is co-op, but unfortunately the people I'm playing with are not local friends, so. But yes, this game, uh, Age of Calamity is, is co-opable. <coughs> Dang it. Perfect, that means I can parsec that. You yeah. can, actually. Yeah, it's, I would imagine it would function fairly well, although being on the Switch, it's probably gonna lag like crazy. 20 frames per second. Oh, you're being generous. 13 oh, frames per second. Uh, you're Don't still being very that. generous. 7 That's frames great. per second. That's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tamal. Monster Hunter Rise is in a month, and pretty much everybody in here is playing, is we, in this call screen, playing Monster Hunter Rise. That's right. It's true. Okay. Uh, that's enough. I got right. We lured Nico back in. That's right. <laughs> I'm back, uh, baby. Is what, is, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Everyone is gonna play. Which, Everyone is here. Which I guess I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna ask it mainly for my chat, not trying to be rude to you guys because I know what you're doing. But what what do you people what do people think they're they're going to play as mainly when Rise comes along? Got my answer. Uh, Everything. <laughs> Great Charles. sword or, or dual blades. Sword and shield and all the ranged weapons. Um, oh, sword shield does sound like it'd be fun now. I'm probably not. Mm, long sword again, Nika. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm definitely going gun lance, hunting horn, and heavy bow gun. Everything. I'm probably doing switch axe. The, the other thing is like, I said this in another chat and people thought I was weird for saying it like this, but like, pretty much everybody is probably going to have a, po a pocket hunting horn. Yeah. I ain't touching it. That's fine. Okay. They changed it so much for the better. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it seems really nice to get into now, but I, I ain't touching it. That's yeah. fine. Leave it to me. Huh. Or me. Because I mean everything. Everything. I'm going through so much like stock music right now. Uh... Now I gotta use something. That hurts. When I just have to use nothing. Oh yeah, you can use like ambient. Does ambience work for your game? Yeah, definitely. I I I could use some ambience stuff. Just do what Monster Hunter does. No, no music, unless you're fighting a monster. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't have fighting. I've just got a really bare bones jump game. Jump and collect the stuff game. Just do what Monster Hunter does. No music. Just have so no music. Just be like, monster or your Kenzie. No prob. No music. No problem. <laughs> no music. No problem. To be fair. It'd probably have a very different vibe if I just didn't have music in, because I have some ambient noise in. But I, I don't know, I feel like music would be nice. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's Chris going full Roboto. Or not full Roboto, but... Domo. Me? Okay. Yeah, sometimes when you speak, you... Come, you come out as a robot. Static. Oh, oh, she's been doing that all night for me. I just didn't want to say anything. Uh, 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 someone mentioned it in my chat, so I just, I guess I gotta, I'm drawing attention to the elephant in the room, effectively. Just unplug and replug. I'm not redoing this mission. It's a focus right thing. It just randomly happens. Oh. Is it bad? <laughs> no, it's not bad. You're good now. Uh, 
5v3, but the other one on the same site was not WAV, and that was more convenient. Why? Just convert it. I know, but like, I have to take that extra like three seconds to do it. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining now, really. <laughs> yeah. Still, a bit annoying when it's like one song on the thing is dot web and the other just dot mp3 only. For me, oh. it's usually like dot wavs and then dot ogg. It's like who uses ogg anymore? True. Who uses ogg? So weird that it's still a file. I mean, I, th I know some game engines use it, but that's kind of the only use I know about. Okay, what name is that? I'm looking in your chat now, Charles. Uh, that's it, Kaiser. Which one? Uh, Kaiser, I will have you know, Sonic R is one of the best Sonic games ever. No cap. Crazy. Don't challenge me. I will. I will stop where we are in Breath of, in uh, Age of Calamity, and I will boot up Sonic R. Do it. I'm trying to play Sonic R. Do it. You will. Do it. I won't. Do what I want? You know what I said. Do what I won't. <laughs>